Lindsay Thurston and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you're here because today, today I have one of the best home decor hauls of my life. Now, let me preface this by saying every single thing that I'm going to show you today came from Target. Now, this is one of my absolute all-time favorite designer collaborations with Target. That's right, McGee and Co. If you are familiar with Studio McGee, Shane McGee specifically, has quickly become one of my favorite interior design inspirational designers. I just love her work and she really does a great job of balancing a lot of styles that I really love. I always say, first and foremost, my style usually gravitates towards mid-century, but what Shea McGee does so well is she blends a little bit of traditional, a little bit of farmhouse, a little bit of mid-century to kind of form this very uniquely McGee & Co. look. Unfortunately, I can't afford everything on the McGee & Co. website that I would likely want to order. Luckily for me, Shay McGee was kind enough to do a collaboration with Target. At first, I thought there was no way I was going to get any of these things, you guys. They have been selling like crazy, and I almost feel guilty showing you my haul because I know it might be hard to find some of these items. But rest assured, I'm going to link every single thing that I can in the description box. And I also want you to know that everything here was purchased in the last couple of weeks. I had to search high and low, go to several different Target and really kind of hit the jackpot. McGee Target stuff is being restocked just in little bits here and there. And I'm finding that generally you're gonna have better luck at larger Target stores that obviously have larger home sections. Smaller Targets are not gonna have it. So if you're in the local Seattle area, you go to Tukwila Target that's in the South Center area, south of Seattle. That is the store that I've had the most luck. I've gone there a couple of times and they've been restocked each time, so that's kind of how I got so lucky. Before I begin, if you are looking for a channel to help you create a home that makes your day every day, this is it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll never miss one of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. So our very first item is one that I actually wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase. And it's this absolutely gorgeous candle. Now, this particular one is that pottery I keep talking to you about where the top part is glazed and the bottom part is left a mat. And it is so beautiful. But what really blows me away about this candle is the incredible fragrance. <laughs> This particular candle is sandalwood and tobacco. It costs $30. That was the one thing I wasn't sure about. $30 for me is a little steep for a candle, but I justified it with the incredible scent, the size, and this reusable container. Travis and I like to make our own candles at home, so I usually don't buy very many candles unless I absolutely love the container. And for me, this container made this worth the price. It's got a ton of wicks on it. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wicks. So I haven't burned it yet, but I've heard from other people who bought this one that when you light it, the scent with all eight wicks going just fills the room. And I'm telling you, oh heavens, that might be my favorite candle scent ever. Once I had this candle, I scored, you guys. It also comes in this sort of medium size, again, that same pottery style, and this little tiny size. The medium sized candle is $14.99, and the small candle is $6. So if $30 for the large candle seems a bit much to you too, these, if you can find them, are a great price, and remember, you can totally reuse these. All right, the next item is a little decor piece. I fell for it the moment I saw it. It is this, it's called a flower block, and it's just that, it's a wooden block. You can actually see through it. It's got a hole in the bottom too. So it really is just a piece of wood, 
But what's cool about this is it's a great thing on its own. It looks really structural and interesting and the wood grain is really interesting. I love the color. But the other thing that's cool about this is you could put dried florals in this. I'm thinking about this for shelf decor in my living room. Next on the list is something that I just had to bring home. I wasn't even sure exactly where I wanted it, but I knew the colors were perfect for our home. It's this little woven rug. So this is actually one that Shea McGee styled as part of a set of doormats overlapped with each other. But I live in Seattle, although it's summer, the rain is coming. And the idea of keeping something like this outside makes me nervous, especially since it's so pretty. So this might end up even in a bathroom or in my laundry room, depending on just how I style everything else. But let's go ahead and roll it out. Look how cute. I just love the texture. I like woven rugs in general, and I really love the natural colors. The fringe didn't hurt either, let's be honest. This one's 100% polyester. You can vacuum it, and this one was a steal. It was only $17.99. All right, my friends, it is time to give you a sneak preview of my family room makeover pillow plan. I bought three of the Studio McGee pillows, and I can't say enough about all of them. They are beautiful. Let's start with the first. All right, so this is the first pillow. It's 100% linen, and it is gorgeous. I love the feeling of it. It's super cozy. I just love linen. I really want linen bedding. That's high on my list. And I love the little floral detail. This one's in the navy blue. It's the square shape. This one is a 20 by 20 pillow, and although the insert is not downfilled, I always tell you guys, make sure to look for downfilled pillow inserts. Although this one isn't downfilled, it is totally choppable. I don't know how she did it, but they are perfect every single time. I might replace the inserts with down inserts at some point, but right now I'm not worried about it. I'm just loving the look, and they feel nice and full and plush, even without the down inserts. They do make this one in a lumbar size with a coral flower print. That's the exact same print as this. So if navy is not in your color scheme, you might want to go for the coral route. I did see those there and I considered buying them, but that coral color just does not work in my space. <laughs> Next up is this adorable plaid pillow. Again, in that navy color story, you can see how these will layer nicely together. I love the little fringe detailing. The last pillow and this pillow are both 20 inch pillows and they're both $22. I think that's a steal. And again, totally choppable, totally adorable. Forgive me if there's a little dog hair on here, but we've already been loving these pillows. The final one in my pillow plan so far is this beautiful, garment dyed chambray. I think it is stunning. I love that it's kind of that chambray denim -y color. You'll see when I share my living room makeover video soon that that sort of denim blue is something that I really like to add as a little tiny hint of color in my space. We're definitely going for a little bit more blues in the family room, keeping the living room a little bit more neutral, but that chambray denim blue color is still an accent color throughout my home. This one is 22 by 22. It's nice and big. It's $30 and to me, totally worth every penny. Oh, let's just snuggle. Okay, it's time to get into one of my favorite, favorite, favorite categories of item, art. And I found some beautiful, beautiful pieces. The first one is this abstract landscape in a brassy gold frame, and it is so pretty. It reminds me of a lot of the kinds of paintings that honestly I enjoy painting. And I love how just natural this space is. I love the greens. I love the vibe. I think it would really work in any area of my home. It's likely this will end up in my family room or in the living room. I haven't decided yet. Um, not quite to the styling portion of those makeovers, but I can't wait to share all of that with you. This one was a steal too, you guys. It was $18.99. It's a little hard to find, but when I found it, I found two. So I bought one of these for my mama 
and I think she's going to have a very similar kind of it will work anywhere kind of feeling in her home. The next piece is one of my all-time favorites from this entire Studio McGee Target collaboration. It is this beautiful beach scene. I love the pale wood of the frame. I love how subtle the colors are. It just is, I find this to be completely soothing and this is going to become part of the art display in that family room makeover, so keep an eye out for that video. It was only $40. It is a beautiful piece, and I think it will find a very, very, very happy home here. You can tell I'm going for a little bit of a neutrals with some pops of blue vibe. And I have a white sofa in there, and I'm really trying to do a lot of layered art with different neutrals, different styles, but that kind of collaborate and work together and give you that soothing kind of feeling in that room. So this piece is going to make a big statement. So this one is one of her abstract pieces. It's actually rigged to be hung vertically or horizontally. I haven't decided how I want to hang it yet. It really depends on once I get to the styling of that space. This is a sizable piece of art and it was only $45. So I think this was another incredible steal and it's going to make my family room so much more elevated and oh, I'm just so excited to see it all come together. All right, this might be in tied for first place of favorite items. This is something I was looking high and low for. So Shea McGee designed two different cube shaped benches for this collaboration with Target. Actually, maybe three different ones. Anyways, so I first found a woven set, but they were in disrepair and it looked like they'd either been damaged in shipping or returned. So I didn't get them and I was super bummed about that because I thought they were so pretty and I, but I just, even the DIYer in me thought these are too far gone. So I thought I missed out. I'm not getting any of those Ottomans, but then I found them. Oh my gosh, even cuter than the woven ones. Oh, it's huge. This is the cubed ottoman. It's got this ticking stripe fabric. I found a set of two, which was my goal, and I was so happy when I found these. Instantly threw them in my overflowing cart. These have provided a lot of great stretch out, loungy space in our family room. These have been such a nice transition. We had a sectional sofa in that room that we moved out and then we put a traditional white sofa in there and you will see them in my upcoming family room makeover video. So get excited. The last piece of art that I wanna tell you about is too big to bring on camera. So I'm gonna insert some footage of it here. This is a beautiful large scale canvas abstract landscape and it's got a beautiful light wooden frame. It did have a little bit of separation, I will be honest with you, within the um, connections, the corners of the frame that I'm going to be fixing with some wood glue, but that definitely didn't stop me from picking this one up. This one has been going on eBay for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Everyone's looking for this piece. I was lucky enough, I ran into the Target to return something and I happened to see it sitting in the order pickup area and I asked the cashier, I have a return, but can I buy that? And he said, oh yeah, um, a lady was gonna come down and pick it up and she decided she didn't want it and she felt really bad about it. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because it was like the best find for me. So it really worked out. Thanks lady, whoever you are for not picking up that art piece. <laughs> it was $85, which is a steal for anything this size. And I think it's gonna be a beautiful, calming piece in our living room space. I just have to kind of figure out where that's gonna end up. So you can see that in an upcoming video for sure. The last piece I want to tell you about is a little bit too big to bring on camera also. It's the tripod lamp. Now I've always loved tripod lamps. It's a really cool style and there's so many different versions of it. 
This one is definitely a little bit on the traditional farmhouse kind of scale, but not too much. It's very simple. I love the very pale neutral gray shade. I love the chain pull design. I always have loved those. Um, but I really was attracted to the matte black metal on it. And it really does call to some matte black metal on the base of my coffee table. I really feel like you need to have three of a color or material in your space for it to feel like it fits or it's cohesive. And in this case, I needed some more matte black metal items. That tripod lamp was $79, which is a steal for a floor lamp of that level of quality. And the metal is that perfect matte black that I was searching for. So I can't say enough about this beautiful lamp. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I almost feel a little guilty sharing all these things with you because it might be hard to find them, but never fear, you can still order many of these online and a ton of local Target stores all over are still getting more merchandise from the McGee line so keep hunting my friends I'm gonna link every single thing that I can in the description box and even if you can't find these items you might have gotten some inspiration on styles colors textures shapes that you might look for in your next shopping trip there are so many great home decor lines at Target I have a lot of items from the Project 62 line, which is their more mid-century vibe. And I have several pieces from the regular Threshold collection, the non-Studio McGee stuff. There's also Opal House has some really cool boho stuff if you're into that. So definitely check out Target when you get a chance. I've got more home decor, DIY, and room makeovers coming for you every single Sunday. So definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll never miss a future video. Huge thank you to all my subscribers. Welcome and thank you so much for believing in and supporting this channel. I am grateful to all of you and so glad that you want to watch these videos because I love making them. If you'd like to see more photos of my home decor, room makeovers, in progress, DIY projects, pretty much everything that's going on in my world, you're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Lindsay Living. Don't forget to check my stories because there I share some of my real-time shopping finds and I will ask your opinion and share tons of my inspiration photos. Until next time, I challenge you to find at least one meaningful change you can make in your space this week. Bye, my friends.